Thank you for joining me today at Tantrum House Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. Today we're going to look at the Honey Bee expansion to Petrichor. Petrichor is that pleasant smell after it rains, it's been super dry, and this is translated into a one to four player game, actually five players if you have the flower expansion. This is an area majority hand management game that takes about 45 to 60 minutes to play. Uh, we're going to focus on the honeybee expansion in this video, and I'll briefly look at the flowers expansion too. Ape Games gave us this copy at Gen Con to look at. There are new honey producing tiles honey tokens, double-sided pollen tokens, some cards, and the wooden bee. There's some minor setup changes and the rulebook shows what you need and how to set it up. In the original game during the action phase there was this optional second action. Well the honey bee expansion expands what you can do as a second action. You could discard a card to move the bee to an adjacent tile. Or you could discard a card and discard a honey token to move the bee to any tile. Then you perform one bee action at the bee's new location, collect dormant pollen tokens up to your max supply of four, or discard two pollen and place a water droplet for each token discarded. If you place the drops on a honey producing tile and there are fewer germinated pollen tokens than the limit shown, place your spent pollen tokens on the tile with the germinated side up. Instead of collecting or discarding, you could collect honey tokens equal to the number shown on the tile. You'll harvest as usual. The honey tiles require at least one germinated pollen token to be considered growing. After harvesting, you'll remove the germinated tokens from any honey tiles that were harvested and place a dormant token on every tile. There are bonus points for the amount of honey in your personal supply at the end of the game. The expansion adds just enough to the game with the honey, the honey tiles, and moving that bee around, and I think it's in keeping with the theme of the game. The new tiles work well with apple, blueberry, passion fruit, and watermelon. I also think it's not adding too much more to what you already know with the mechanics of Petrichor. I like that you're adding the honey at the end of the game for the area majority scoring. You're already used to area majority in this game with the voting and the different tiles. There's also a solo mode as well called Southern Winds. The Flowers expansion adds a fifth player to the game and comes with translucent water drops and cards and white tokens for that player. Some forecast cards and new flower tiles with some matching tokens as well. Both expansions bring new life to an already good game and I like that the Flowers expansion brings that fifth player. And for the Honey Bee expansion, I love the bee token and how it creates player interaction on where you want it to pollinate at certain tiles. All the components fit in well with the game, and I think the artwork and illustrations are great. And of course, another level of scoring with those honey tokens. So if you have never played Petrichor, I'd highly recommend playing it. And if you already have Petrichor, then definitely go in for the Honey Bee and the Flowers expansion from Mighty Boards and Ape Games, and we would love for you to subscribe to Tantrum House.